welcome to another installment of Star Citizen. I like the idea of ships that can be primarily focused on a single aspect of the gameplay, but it's nice when you can get a little extra use from a single ship, especially if it's the only one you've got. So we're going to take the prospector out and try to do some smuggling. While doing some delivery missions with the prospector, I wondered if the cargo grid, that isn't really a true cargo grid, would hide the contraband from the law, and then be able to allow me to trade those illegals. Better alive, you are coming with me. I'd really enjoyed the smuggling a few patches back in the Cutlass, and I'm wanting to get back into that soon now that there's a little bit of a criminal system in place. But for now, Earth the Miner. No, the smuggler was going to see how far he could push the prospector with this career. I knew I wouldn't be able to actively buy the illegal things at the trade consoles, but on the personal missions tab, there are delivery missions that are of questionable reputation. So why should I care about a bad reputation? But they pay out well. Right now, the contents of those questionable delivery missions don't seem to be illegal cargo. Now I say right now, because this could change in the future. These delivery missions of questionable nature could actually be illegal in the future, but right now they're not. And they function like normal delivery missions. But the stash houses the missions send you to have stash crates laying around. And they are also very plentiful from a Tika Pashenko mission that takes you to a bunker. So I picked a couple of the missions carrying gasping weevil eggs and human food bars Silent Breed is people! And grabbed several of these crates that were laying around the stash houses. With a few mission trade boxes on board and some potential illegals, I headed across the solar system with these extra mysterious packages on board. What's the cargo? Risky? Yes. This is dangerous, son. You gotta know how to handle it. But without risk, there's no reward. Risk is our business. There were two places that seemed common to drop off the mission goods, the Reclamation Center of Orinth on Hurston, and the Orphanage on Lyria near Arkcorp. The Orphanage is really just another stash house. It's worth noting that these stash house pickup and drop off points don't have quantum locations to go directly to, so you'll either need to take some extra time to fly there, or pick a location that's a little bit nearer and get as close as you can. So this takes these missions a little bit longer to execute than the others. Pay attention, son. This is for your own good. When I did my deliveries at the orphanage, interestingly, they wanted the stash boxes I'd picked up at the other stash houses. Leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. And it turned out it was revenant tree pollen. But it wasn't worth anything. Scrap is worth about as much. Very disappointing. And it seemed that it wasn't listed as illegal cargo at all. Unexpected, this is. I still wanted to know whether I would get a crime stat hand carrying something illegal on board the prospector. And I was pretty sure the Ticha Pashenko missions held the good stuff down in the bunker. So far, I at least did prove that handheld boxed goods beyond the harvestable boxes could be sold from the prospector. Any of this getting through to you, son? but I wanted to find out more. I'll spare you the details of everything it took to be able to get the mission, get there, take down the outside turrets, and, and get the boxes, but it was possible. I was able to get some of these things. I will say that it did require at one point stashing these boxes in a out-of-the-way corner in one of the hangars of Art Corp and having to deal with a fellow here that didn't seem like he was too happy about what I was doing. Let me see your identification. Uh, Excuse me, sir, do you mind if I take my baking soda over here? It's, uh, it's just cooking supplies. No problem here. Nothing's happening here at all. It's all fine. We don't need to see his identification. I got these boxes back on board the prospector with the rest of the junk that I've been carrying around on board and decided to take off and fly around. I wanted to see what would happen. Sure enough, after a few jumps, the law did eventually catch up with me. Attention. Please hold for your vessel to be scanned. What is 
there about your type that makes you think you're above the law. But it was sort of interesting. They did not give me a crime stat, but at the same time, it was clear that they knew something was amiss with this ship. They didn't give me the normal, uh, just carry on, sir. Move along. Move along. So I'm really not sure at this point whether it's just something in the game right now where they're not giving you a crime stat, but they will be able to detect these things, or whether it truly is right on that rickety border of being a criminal, but yet they don't have any proof because they can't pick it up or something like that. I'm not sure, but the fact was I was able to carry these boxes and I was able to sell these boxes for a profit. So I could do some smuggling in the prospector. It was possible. I only know what I can do. I really enjoyed this little smuggling gameplay loop I'd created. Now I'm not gonna say it was the highest alpha UEC return per hour. It definitely was not, but I play the game because it's fun and there's a lot of different things to do if you use your imagination. It's an open sandbox and it requires the actual people playing to make a lot of the gameplay themselves. And I didn't really have to go out of the way and exploit some bug or something like that to have a good time. I was able to just use the game mechanics and create something new. I will definitely try to do this again and I'll probably do it with the prospector just for that extra challenge. One wrong move and you're done for. Pay attention son, look at me when I'm talking to you. I'll take somebody with me that can maybe help clear out the whole bunker. We'll grab some of the products and get out of there. I did see that I picked up what looked like a little bit more of the revenant tree pollen. I got some altrucia toxin out of there and there was some neon. Lastly, my subscriber base is growing and I'm really enjoying all the comments and feedback and exchanges with the people in the community. It's really super. So to celebrate, I'm giving away this month a gray cat. Yes, it's just a gray cat, but it's a pretty cool little ground vehicle. And being smaller than the Cyclone and shorter than the hover bikes, it fits into a lot more ships. And you can actually make a little bit of money with this thing. I've got a video out about that where I actually used it to help myself and do things and increase the economy. Maybe you can even use it to carry the harvestable boxes with FPS mining. Who knows? If you'd like a gray cat, just type in the word gray cat to any of the videos I publish, including this one, between now and the end of November, and I'll be doing the drawing at the beginning of December. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw, and I'll be talking to you later.